This is a 1 to 76 scale proportionally controlled remote control car. Before I start reviewing it, here's a quick video of, of how she drives. So it's pretty obvious this thing's tiny. You can see how small it is just by me holding it like that, just resting it on my thumb. Um, but in terms of how it stacks up next to uh, household items, this is what it looks like next to a set of AirPod Pros. Uh, and you can see the detail on this thing is really well done. It's very good quality. Um, this is what it looks like next to a lighter, a large lighter. Um, this is what it looks like next to a Hot Wheels or Matchbox car. Uh, and next to one of those cheap Coke can cars. Uh, and this is what it looks like next to some 1 to 43 scale remote control cars. And I just want to pause on this for a second because I, I've built this track that you saw in the intro video there. Um, and I built it for micro cars, um, a little bit smaller than Mini Z type cars. And it's very, very hard to find a decent quality micro remote control car. At the 1 to 43 scale, you've got a lot of discontinued products. Kyosha had the D Nano, um, you've got the uh, Drift Package Nano, uh, you've got some Carrera cheap ones, uh, Siku Racing do a not bad car as well. Um, but to get to hobby grade, you're probably looking at about 1 to 28 scale, uh, and proportional steering is probably entering at around 1 to 32 scale. So 1 to 76 scale with proportional steering is something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And for the record, here's what it looks like next to a Tiny Whoop. Um, for those who don't know what proportional steering is, and pro proportional acceleration for that matter, um, proportional steering is the ability to steer gradually, so you can steer proportionally, so you're not just steering left or right, like those cocaine cars that you would get. So you can control the movement of it with gradual turns and then sharper turns and so forth. And the turning circle on this thing is obviously going to be small and is pretty accurate, so you can see here I'm doing some kind of donuts there as well. In terms of what you get in the box, you get the car itself and the car on the underside, and I'll put a photo up as well, um, you have a little switch uh, and you've got your USB-C charging port, so you get the actual cable with that. Um, charge time, I haven't really paid much attention to the charge time, from memory it's about 15 minutes and you get about 40 minutes runtime out of this, that's what they advertise. I haven't driven this for 40 minutes straight but I've certainly driven it for at least 20 minutes and, um, and then switched it off and tried it again. So I can believe that it gives you 40 minutes runtime, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the quality of it is great. The cover pops off and underneath you'll have, I think it's a 75 mile LiPo uh, and the cover is pretty hard and you also get two of these covers here uh, that you can paint yourself. So you need to paint them from the exterior as opposed to typical RC models from the internal or from inside. Um, but that is pretty hard as well and I think it's awesome that they include two of these here for you to uh, customise as much as you want. The transmitter that comes with this is surprisingly very, very good quality. Um, you've got nice foam, it's got nice spring tension in there as well. Um, but most importantly, you have in, uh, dual rates for your steering and for your throttle. So effectively that means that you can dictate how sharp you want it to turn. You can change that setting. You've got these little analog knobs to do that. Um, and the throttle, you can turn the throttle down. Now you wouldn't turn the throttle down because you can see it doesn't go that fast, uh, but it does drive really nicely. And you've also got throttle trim and steering trim. And these are on analog dials as well, which I prefer over digital dials because you have that visual representation. It has a channel three button there, which I expected to switch on and off the lights, but the lights stay on all the time and that's okay. Uh, and you've got the on off switch and you've got a reverse switch so you can flick it um, just for whatever reason. You're never gonna use that, so don't worry about that. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool about this controller is it clicks into two parts, so storage perhaps, uh, and you access the batteries in there. And then you just click it back together like this. So that's quite a good little um, transmitter, much better than a lot of other um, 
1 to 32 scale type cars like the one that you might get with the um, the Emax Interceptor. Um, yeah, that's the best cheap remote control I've seen. Full stop. Uh, in terms of the actual driving, I, I can't really fault it. You know, if I were to be really picky, I would say that maybe the switch, because there's not too much clearance on the switch on the underside, um, maybe they should have put the orientation of the switch a little bit differently. Because when you do switch it on, if you go over a sharp object or a sharp ledge of some sort, it can knock the switch and switch that off. I experienced that a couple of times on my track. Um, I was surprised that this could handle my track because I've got some steep little wooden parts. The track's built more for a 1 to 43 um, scale car. But yeah, really impressed. Um, wheels are rubber, so that I suppose speaks to the quality. The, the top kind of clicks off like that and you can see underneath, hold that properly, um, what that looks like. I think that's in focus. Um, and there's the cover there. So it's pretty easy to dismantle, put back together. In terms of range and duration and that sort of stuff, um, the thing advertises a 30 meter range. Um, you, you're not going to see this thing past 10 meters or, or something like that anyway. So, so range is not a problem. Um, battery life is not a problem. I'm really impressed. This is really good quality, which comes down, which which brings us to the price. They're not cheap. Banggood has them for 99 Aussie, which is about 70 US. Um, Asia Tees has them for about 80 Aussie, uh, which is 50, 60 US, I'm guessing now. Um, so you might think that's pretty expensive for such a little car, but you know what? I've been hanging for a small quality car for a very long time. I will gladly buy more than one in time. Um, because these things are going to be so much fun to race as well. Not the fastest thing, but on a track like that where it means it's going to be neck on neck all the way. Um, and you can do other sorts of cool things. You know, I chuck this on the foosball table and um, I can imagine if you've got two or three of these cars, you can have a game of soccer on a foosball table and, and come up with some other creative things that you can do with these as well. Um, so for the price, uh, uh, worth mentioning that Asia Tees, uh, if you're ordering from Australia, I'm pretty sure they only offer DHL. The good thing there it means that you're going to get it in about two or three days as opposed to two or three weeks or months. The bad thing is that it's going to bump the price up to over a hundred bucks, um, which puts it on par with Banggood. So I'd probably actually recommend Asia Tees if they've got stock. Um, I think there are four colors. I, I will check the website and put up some imagery to double check that. And I think there are four available covers, colors. Um, I also noticed the website talked about some kind of rubber protection for the transmitter. Um, I didn't get one of those. As I said, I got the car, the transmitter, two bodies and a USB-C cable. Uh, this is great. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, pretty expensive for what it is, but it's it's quality. I, I can't speak to its durability long term because I've only had it for about two days. Uh, but that's it. And just a quick note on my, my usual videos, which typically cover fly sky and quads and that sort of stuff. I'm still in lockdown, so I'm not really flying at the moment. Um, and I am spending a bit more time with cars, so I'll probably put out a bit more content in relating to, to RC cars. Try to keep it a little bit different. Um, that's it. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. Um, please like, please subscribe, um, or do whatever you want, really. <laughs> Thanks. You have a good day.